How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be unlocking the 99 overall MVP Mookie Betts collection reward. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I've been thinking about completing this collection ever since it was released into the game. It's been a little over a week I believe and I've made a video talking about why I waited as well. Uh, but I had enough cards to go ahead and complete this collection. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't locking in uh, a lot of stubs or at least locking in more stubs than I needed to. So I waited a few days and they released this Field of Dreams choice pack which allowed me to complete this collection uh, for a little bit lower cost, right? I don't necessarily have to lock in players that are going for over 100,000 stubs. Like for example, I had Prime Todd Frazier. I could have locked him in. I ended up selling him for 110,000 and then once more prime cards were released his price significantly dropped down but i do need to go ahead and collect all of the july and all of the may uh, tops now players so that way i can unlock marcus simeon and joey Votto. i am now able to complete the monthly award voucher for mookie Betts. so i just wanted to make sure um, that i didn't lock in you know tops now players that i didn't necessarily need to and i want to make sure that all of these players in here are non-sellable or at least most of these players that i'm locking in are not sellable and i think the best move uh, is to not lock in nathan evaldi i'm not sure how many people chose that card um you know over mark canna over the tom murphy card those uh, i'm pretty sure tom murphy was included in that but those cards came out a while ago they're probably going for a lot on the market i didn't even check but i'm just locking these players in i want the mookie bets card but i want to make sure that i'm not locking in players i shouldn't be so i'm double checking everything we locked in the tops now guys we have the signature players necessary the only voucher i'm not going to complete is the milestone voucher and i have almost enough players for that voucher but those cards are going for a lot and i don't need to buy anymore i have all the other players i need so I might as well just wait and hold off on, on locking all of those milestone players in. Uh, this right here, this selection uh, made me think a little bit. I wasn't sure if I should lock in Mike Piazza. I think he's an end game card, but I also think his price is going to skyrocket after the Field of Dreams choice pack is no longer available. If you have a lot of stubs, you know, you might want to invest in that Mike Piazza card. He's very good. We are going to be getting some debuts and some gameplay with a couple of these guys. I'm gonna hop into the Field of Dreams event right after I unlock Mookie Betts. We're gonna be trying out Roberto Clemente. We're gonna be trying out Lefty Grove. Hopefully get a couple at-bats with Mike Piazza, Mike Schmidt. I wanna try Lou Brock as well. Uh, so we are going to hop into that Field of Dreams event. We're not going to lock in Bryce Harper, Lefty Grove, Jorge Posada, or Trevor Story. For the awards voucher not yet anyway we might end up locking them in later on but i foresee those cards rising in value uh, significantly even though we have the battle royale program i still think those cards are going to be worth a lot of stubs later on depending on if they include a br choice pack with all of the rewards in some type of program maybe towards the end of the year right when they gave us a program uh releasing all of the bosses again we might see those battle royale rewards pop back up um, but this is actually the last voucher that we need for mookie bets now i know i went ahead and locked in all of these players um you know each one by one but i wanted to make sure that i wasn't locking in more than i needed to right i'm going to get the jared kalenic card so if i lock in 10 players i get him i get the 20 uh player voucher from ariana rivera which i already have and now we can finish off this collection and we still have a few prospect cards that we can sell. So I thought that was the best way to go about this. As you can see, we have the 15 out of 16 vouchers necessary for Mookie Betts. Uh, we also have the Jack Robinson and the Shohei Otani. So that helps us skip the milestone voucher. Uh, but there he is, Mookie Betts on the squad. And I have built a few teams, right? I tried to combine a few brand new players that I unlocked with my squad that I was using previously. And that's what we had in that first screenshot. This is a screenshot of 
all of the Field of Dreams players, or at least most of them, uh, included in the starting lineup with a couple of players I like using. We have a mix of players I have been using and some new ones. And then, of course, the pitching staff. So we have built a few teams that we're going to try out in ranked seasons. But I want to hop into this event and try at least a few of these cards out, right? I don't want to debut all of them at once. I do want to try Mookie Betts. Unfortunately, he's not available for this event. And I'm also a little bit limited on time at the moment. I don't actually have time to play a full nine inning game right now. So we're going to go ahead and hop into this event. This opponent looks to be a fan of Zoe 101, PCA Academy. I have not seen that show in at least 17 years. It's probably been around there and going back to when I was about 10 years old. But here we have Lou Brock leading off this ball game. And this card is super underrated. I think he's going to be, you know, one of the better outfielders that's not a 99 overall. But here we have 99 overall, Roberto Clemente. We're sending the runner. And Roberto Clemente is smashing the changeup up and away for a home run in his very first at bat. That is incredible. I would, I was hoping it would be a perfect, um, but I will certainly take that. Mike Piazza will not get an at bat in that last game because that opponent quit. We are going to try and get a couple at bats with Piazza, Schmidt, Brooks Robinson, and Eddie Murray in this one because I've never used the first six batters of this lineup now Lou Brock and Roberto Clemente already did something in the previous game now here Mike Piazza is going deep picking up right where we left off in that last game started off you know 0 for 2 Mike Piazza is coming up clutch Mike Schmidt is coming up clutch and I'm also named after Mike Schmidt my middle name is Michael and uh, I was named after Mike Schmidt the baseball player big fan uh, he's a great card and he has a much better swing in this year's game that's the number one thing i was wanting to see uh, but we are trying out lefty grove i won't have too much gameplay with this card because this is an event that's on all-star difficulty can't really tell you know how good these types of pitchers are on this difficulty but he does have outlier he does have the unbreakable quirk and of course he has a lot of stamina so he will pitch in deep into the game whether it's a three inning game nine inning game or he could even pitch more than nine innings but here we have Ralph Kiner off the bench trying this card out unlock this card from the previous event and I think this card will also go up in price depending on how many people were able to get him and some people may have locked him in for the Mookie Betts collection we went with the pinch runner in Alfonso Soriano and Lou Brock is going lefty lefty to the cornfields sending that one out on a perfect moonshot and that ball is never going to be found Lou Brock with his first home run on the squad. We hit a couple homers with some of these brand new cards. And that's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty. I'm looking to try out Mookie Betts in the next one. Peace out.